There are massive open world games coming out all the time. They're always popular. Every year, there are games like Horizon and Elden Ring with giant worlds to explore. But which games have the biggest world maps in history? Let's check it out. Let's start with some racing games, which might surprise you. Ubisoft's The Crew is actually one of the biggest out there. These kinds of games are often based in real countries or even continents, so they have the potential to be massive, and The Crew was. The Crew made the entire US of A playable, and that is a massive country. That's how we get to a map size of 1,900 square miles. Damn. It sounds like nothing when compared to the next racer, though. Probably no one remembers Fuel, and for good reason. It's just a bit trash but it's a juicy one when it comes to the size of the game. Somewhere between 5,560 and 7,000 square miles. But yeah, it's all just a bit brown and barren as you see here, so maybe size isn't everything? Anyway, enough of the vroom vroom. We're talking about big games, so we obviously need to deal with RPGs. Now, Guild War Nightfalls is still the big daddy of all MMORPGs, with a map of 15,000 square miles. That's almost three times as much as Fuel. Holy shit. Talk about bang for your buck, eh? And we obviously need to talk about a legend within the genre, the Elder Scrolls Sky... Nope, not Skyrim. It's Daggerfall who earns the crown, with a fucking ridiculous 62,000 square miles of playable space. This game came out in 1996, and is still flexing on everything else in the genre. But what could be even bigger than the biggest RPG ever made? Well, how about the Earth itself? Yep, we're talking of course about Microsoft Flight Simulator, which lets you explore an entire planet and could not be ignored in this list. Obviously that was going to be high up on any open world competition. 197 million square miles. Now that's definitely more than you'll ever need. But we'll go one bigger. We'll end on a couple of the largest of the large to finish us out here. We're talking of course about Minecraft and No Man's Sky. Minecraft is technically not endless, but come on, it basically is. And No Man's Sky has literally 200 galaxies or something, and it's constantly generating new planets. So yeah, I'd say we have a pretty clear winner here.